AITA for refusing to do all household chores on days when my wife works and I don't? My wife, 33, slash F, and I, 32, slash M, have been together for seven years and married for a year and a half now. My wife has been working nine to five ever since we met. My work has me traveling for 60 to 70% of the year. I usually take my two to three days off in the midst of my travels to go back home and be with my wife. The natural rhythm that we fell into, or at least I thought was natural, was that when I'm not home she basically does all the cooking, cleaning, laundry, taking care of pets, and any other chores that come up. She uses her own money to buy things she needs when I'm not there and I use my own money when traveling. We split the cost of the house we bought. When I'm home I do half the chores while she does half. Before we got married, she started working from home full time. Last week she brought up how she feels that her doing chores on days, she work while I lay around for hours instead of doing all the chores is unfair and that it needs to change. Basically, she wants me to do all the chores while she works and that we split chores that only come up later during the day between us, like making dinner, washing dinner plates, feeding and cleaning up after the pets, etc. I think that is unfair because I technically work more than her, my work is just not traditional. So I'd not like I'm a stay-at-home spouse who can only contribute to the household by doing all the chores. Plus, when traveling, I'm usually working 14 hours a day and I don't have weekends like she does. When I have a few days off, I come back home and share all the chores with her. And on the month or two I have off I come back home and share the chores evenly. When I started breaking it all apart like I did here, she went on about how being tit for tat in marriage is a bad thing and I should be flexible. She says it is inconsiderate of me to do half the chores when I have enough time to do all of them way before she gets off work and that I expect her to do the rest with the time she has left of the day. I then reminded her that half the chores only exist because of her choices. When buying a house, she insisted on a four-bedroom with a huge backyard. I pay for half even though I'm living there less than six months every year. I was never fond of pets, but she insisted on getting them because she gets lonely so we went ahead and adopted the first and now have two dogs and a cat. I'm a minimalist, mostly became that way because of my job and she buys so much stuff to decorate with house. Every inch of the floors and walls is covered with something. I brought up all this to show her that her decisions are why we have so many chores to do during one day. She got upset and told me to just forget her request. She's been very cold to me since then. I would gladly offer to pay for a cleaning person to come over five days a week on days when I'm home, but I know she would refuse to hire one because of reasons related to her past. AITA for refusing to comply with her request? Sorry, man. Ita. I'm someone's ex-husband for pretty similar reasons. You're not an AH for not complying with her request. YTA for not wanting to lift some of the load she's expressing having trouble carrying. It doesn't matter who works more, that doesn't figure into the balance of work at home. That's between you and your respective bosses. The home is something independent of that. Plus, if she's working and then doing chores, isn't that detracting from the time you both have together? If you care about her, show an investment in her priorities and show her you're someone who will show up when she needs something. If there's one piece of advice I can offer, Catch this shit early and get it right. When women are dismissed on points like this, they can learn not to talk when they have a problem at all, and the problem might fester while you're not looking. OP should consider reading, My wife divorced me because I left dishes by the sink. It's a very good piece on how he may be perceiving this stuff as very small and unimportant, whereas to her, it might actually be super important and symptomatic of a much deeper issue. What I hear OP's wife saying is, I don't feel like I matter. You're not here most of the time, and when you are, you don't seem to care about me. I feel like I'm single, and I need more support. And I think when Opie responds as if she's just saying, the dishes need to be washed, he's kind of missing the point. It's not about the dishes. It's about the fact that they're supposed to be in a partnership, but he is not acting like a partner. My mom almost divorced her husband because he never saw the trash can was full, he just kept piling it up even if it was overflowing he wouldn't take it out until asked to do so. It's like he never saw the trash pile or had the reason to not pile pizza boxes on top. Used to drive my mom nuts BC her husband's desk was right next to it and how could he not see it? And then leaving the mental load for her to tell him when to take it out. Like hello you have two working eyes help out? Yep. I've always said that foreplay starts in the kitchen when he takes out the garbage without being asked. And? He says nothing about it. 
Now that's a sexy man. I take out the trash every Tuesday night. In the rain, in the snow, when I had bronchitis, when I had COVID, I do all of my husband's laundry. We used to split things pretty evenly. He doesn't do any housework at all now. I really didn't think it bothered me until reading through these comments. Like, he can't even close a cabinet. Empty the dishwasher. Nothing. I'm realizing now how that makes me feel. Especially when he saw me breaking down boxes, carrying the vacuum down the steps when I sprained my ankle, and he didn't help me. He was playing VR. Then, when I made it downstairs, he said, I could have taken that down for you. Yeah, but why didn't you? You were right there, you know? And so knowing that I'd have to ask and maybe come off as being a nag, I just do everything myself. And those little things really matter to me because I feel like he doesn't appreciate me. Damn. It is a constant, I don't really care about you message. They don't see it that way, but that's how it feels. What I hear Opie's wife saying is, I don't feel like I matter. You're not here most of the time. And when you are, you don't seem to care about me. I feel like I'm single and I need more support. This is exactly what she's saying. She's probably been saying this. She said something to this effect when she insisted on a large house, probably so she could have family or friends over. She said something to this effect when she said she wanted animals because she was lonely, and she said something to this effect when she started decorating so it felt like a home instead of the place I rest my head 30% of the year that Opie would have apparently designed. And when she says it again in the context of chores, OP's instinct is to throw the other ways in which she signaled this right back in her face. Marriage does not seem to be a good fit for OP's job combined with his attitude about his job's effect on his partner. Something among those three is eventually going to have to give, and his attitude is the one OP has the most control over. OP, listen to this man. It really does sound like you two have some different values. That doesn't mean your marriage is doomed, but you have to meet in the middle. You might be a minimalist but you didn't marry one, and all that crap on the floors and walls? That's y'all's crap. Those pets? Y'all's pets. You're part of a team. Team marriage, and every single little thing isn't about you, and if you like it. It's about accomplishing your goals together. It's wholly unfair for you to sit back and say things like the house is too big, or you don't like pets so you didn't think you'd have to attend to the house. Care for the pets? Your wife got a larger house and pets under the reasonable assumption that her husband would help her with them, and that if he had a huge problem with doing that, he'd say something. Not just let her dive in, basically alone. Marriage requires communication. White yay, if you didn't want to help her with those things, you should have said that before she acquired them. She's communicating her needs to you, and you're just saying, I hear you, but I don't want to. Try to imagine asking her for help with something and she responded like that. You'd feel hurt. This. OP needs to realize that without him, her day-to-day -day life wouldn't really change all that much. So what's the point of being with him? His life also wouldn't probably change. He'd still be working that job probably, and have 100% of the domestic labor on top of it. He's also making the mistake of thinking her working from home means she can do the bulk of the housework, as though she isn't also working. White yay. While you're traveling or you staying in hotels where you don't have to do any cleaning or looking after yourself. It sounds like your wife does 100% of the chores when you're traveling and 50% when you're home, which means the load is 75% on her. Plus, she works full-time. It's also a bit miserable that your offer of a cleaner is only for when you're home, not to help when she's by herself. I struggle to see how your wife is being unreasonable.